Let's start off with our flank steak. The first thing we need to do is make a marinade. Some Cabernet. We're gonna let this marinate for about four hours. And some shallots. And some olive oil. And a little black pepper. I'm gonna make a very large slit in the flank steak, basically butterfly it. And, and you wanna just take very long slices so that you're not really sawing. Okay, you can pick it up like that. And this is where we're going to put the prosciutto and the fontina cheese. All right, so basically what you're doing is you're making a pocket almost to the edge, all right? I'm just gonna throw the marinade right over the uh, flank steak, and we're gonna let this marinate for about four hours. Okay, this is what it's gonna look like after it's marinated for a while. Take it out. We can put our prosciutto and our frontina cheese and our fresh basil. So frontina cheese is fairly mild, has a little bit of bite to it, but not, not a whole lot. And then we're gonna put a little salt and pepper down. And then the prosciutto di parma. Prosciutto di parma is a, uh, a cured Italian ham. And then we're gonna take some fresh basil. And then some more salt and pepper on this side of the flap. We're gonna close it. Put it back in our marinade and we can take it to the grill. So basically the idea here is to make the steak very crusty on the outside. Cook the steak to about medium rare to medium, and at the same time, the cheese is gonna melt and bring out all the flavors of the prosciutto and that fresh basil. I'm gonna season on, on both sides on the outside. Okay, flank steak is basically uh, one of the cheaper cuts of meat. It has a lot of, uh, lot of depth of flavor to it, and um, because of the fat content on it, it can handle things like putting the prosciutto and the fontina cheese. So, as opposed to like a filet mignon, this is really the right cut of meat to do this dish. All right, so we're gonna let this cook for about four or five minutes on this side, flip it over, and let it cook for another three or four minutes on the other side, and then it should be done. So this is the, uh, the sauce that we're making for the flank steak. It's uh, shallots and black peppercorns, some red wine and some honey. And we're just gonna let it reduce down until the flavor concentrates and it gets a little thick. All right, so we're gonna take our flank steak off. That looks great. Okay, with the, uh, the prosciutto and the fontina cheese and the fresh basil. And uh, I think what we need to do is really let this relax, let it rest for a little while. You know, the juices and the meat kind of cool down a little bit. So we can let this rest for a good 10 or 15 minutes. All right, get our flank steak. I gotta get my reduction. Almost lost that one. Here's our red wine reduction to go on the, uh, to go on the flank steak. A little salt and pepper. I'm gonna strain it out. So I think that our flank steak is probably pretty well rested. That's what you want to see. Nice and juicy on the inside, the prosciutto and the fontina cheese and the basil. And then here's our red wine reduction. Remember, we marinated it in red wine, and then we made a red wine sauce. I think that's pretty beautiful. Then we're gonna take some basil leaves, because remember, we have basil inside the, uh, the flank steak. All 
All right. I think we should give it a try. Take a shot at our flank steak here. Cabernet reduction, 